Today is Saturday, October 5th, 2013. One ounce of silver is $22. One Bitcoin is $122. Peace News Now is brought to you by Bitcoin and Silver from friends of WeUseCoins.com and SonsOfLibertyMint.com. Trade value for value with fine silver quarters from the Sons of Liberty Mint. That's Sons with a U, the most divisible, usable silver on the planet. Order some today. That's Sons with a U, SonsOfLibertyMint.com. The big news today is that a random woman has been shot by law enforcers outside of the White House. Miriam Carey, who was fired as a dental assistant for being too rough with patients, took her baby for an extremely dangerous car ride around the White House this past Thursday. Despite multiple news outlets reporting a shooter in D.C., she was not armed. The only shooters were the police who killed her. Her body was so badly torn apart by the gunfire that in the end, the gunmen weren't even sure who it was they killed. At this time, it's unknown what will become of her two-year-old child who was in the back seat. In peaceful resistance news, blogger Dean T. tipped off Peace News Now about a little old lady who's standing up to big government. Government agents in Canada are working to punish 89-year-old Audrey Tobias for failing to comply with a law called the Statistics Act. Even though the law was written in 1918 by politicians who have long been dead, the Statistics Act makes it a crime to refuse to submit to a government survey and carries a penalty of 90 days in jail. Audrey refuses to comply with government demands because American weapons producer Lockheed Martin was involved in the census. She says that the Canadian census should be run by Canada and not a private U.S. weapons manufacturer. Because of that, she won't check the boxes on their form, and she's willing to take the maximum penalty. She says paying a fine is like admitting guilt, and she doesn't think she's doing anything wrong. She's not the only one. In 2011, 54 other Canadians were targeted by their government for not filling out this piece of paper. Should people lose their freedom for refusing to fill out a census form? Share your thoughts on the Peace News Now Facebook page. This story brought to you by friends of blockchain.info. Download the free Bitcoin wallet at blockchain.info. The founder of LavaBit is a total badass. Not only did whistleblower Edward Snowden use LavaBit's secure email service, but LavaBit's founder won't comply with government demands to spy on its users. It's like this. The FBI wanted certain information about Snowden's emails. LavaBit told them that while they had the ability to decrypt their customers' email and and send it to the government, they weren't going to do that. A government judge threatened to jail the site's owner, Ladar Levison, if he refused to comply with the government's demands. Ladar refused. On July 9th, government lawyers asked the judge to jail Levison for disobedience. A week later, they demanded a search warrant for the information needed to decrypt communications, such as encryption keys and SSL keys. With SSL keys and a wiretap, the FBI could have decrypted all web sessions between the site and its 400,000 users. Levison went to court on August 1st to fight the demands, but the judge ruled in favor of the government. Now, here's why LavaBit's founder is so awesome. Levison complied the next day by turning over the private SSL keys as an 11-page printout in four-point type. The government lawyers complained to the judge, quote, To make use of these keys, the FBI would have to manually input all 2,560 characters. One wrong keystroke, and it wouldn't work. The judge ordered Levison to provide an electronic copy. By August 5th, LavaBit was still resisting the order, and the judge ordered that Levison would be fined $5,000 a day beginning August 6th until he handed over electronic copies of the keys. Instead, on August 8th, Levison closed LavaBit, making any attempt at surveillance moot. He was still under a gag order, so he posted an oblique message saying he'd been left with little choice in the matter. Quote, I have been forced to make a difficult decision, to become complicit in crimes against the American people, or walk away from nearly 10 years of hard work by shutting down LavaBit. After significant soul-searching, I have decided to suspend operations. Peace News Now is on the next news network and is brought to you by friends of WeUseCoins.com and SonsOfLibertyMint.com. Share this episode with your friends. And if you enjoyed it, send some Bitcoin to donate.peacenewsnow.com. I'm Derek J, reminding you that peace is the way.